Yo, what up, guys? It's the Don Base, but you're back with another video, and today we will be reviewing the new Player Moments Mohammed Rame. So, main man got his card for winning the Stay and Play Cup. So, he's good at the game, but is he good in the game? Let's find out right now. It's gameplay time! Okay, first of all, why is this prick wearing the same color kit as me? I can't see shit. But that ain't gonna stop me. Let's go! There we go, a spot MD as a true ball and the man is going 92 pace until this freaking defender just runs into me. Somehow keep it in. Freaking skill this defender, track backs all around. Go for a nice little cross and... Yeah, headers don't work in this game, do they? Yeah, I should know that by now. Finally moving forward again, there's a pass to Rame, pass back, a beautiful 1-2 and I smash it against the goalkeeper. Should've probably chopped that or tried to finesse it, but yeah, that happened. Pass to Derame and this guy continues to slide tackle me for some reason. But look at this, a beautiful chip shot, Litman gets it and I smash it against Goalie again. How unfortunate. And I almost managed to score with Derame in the most idiotic way possible. Imagine if that had gone in. <laughs> for some reason this guy's Dybala wants to end my right back's career. Bloody hell, he could've broke his damn leg, how is that only a yellow card ref? Yup, and I stole this guy's ball off his goalkeeper again. Wow, and I should've passed that, but I decided to go for something spectacular. Really thought freaking Derame was gonna hit a bicycle kick. Really thought. Again with Derame, beautiful heel to heel, and the man is gonna take on this defender until I like lost hope and I passed it to Lozano. He was doing quite well. That lob through ball was supposed to go to Derame, but I don't know how it ended up going to let man in, but yeah, that happened. I really should've been playing it more simple and just give a true ball and try to score, but I don't know why I'm trying to go for the spectacular. And we're on the counter attack and there goes the Rame, this defender ain't catching me, come on man, I have freaking 92 pace. Freaking try to slide tackle me, and I went for the finesse shot because of the pressure of the defenders. Probably should have took more time on that, but I felt the pressure of the defenders and, well, I could have played that more smart, I guess. At this point, I realize how fast this guy is, the defender's close to the ball, the Rame hits him off the damn ball, gets back to it, beautiful Cruyff turn like there, I line up the shot here and I take it, I'm still not sure what he's stronger for. Took it with his left that time. Again, it hits the goalkeeper. And obviously it wouldn't be a video without freaking Chucky Lozano getting molested by someone else. Why does this keep happening to him? At this point I realize I gotta take my freaking finger off the right stick, like look at this. I freaking take on the goalie, should have shot there. Look at this. Okay, take on that defender, take on another defender, the ball goes away from me and yeah. I just need to freaking shoot. That's all I gotta freaking do, I just have to shoot the damn thing. Another example why you just play simple, should've just passed that, don't know why I crossed it, gotta stop trying for that damn volley, and why the hell did he hit it? Okay, Neymar's got a freaking card now as well, jeez, this guy's getting yellow cards left, right and center. So I don't know what the hell happened here, the ball bounced off Zayash's freaking back, and somehow, it freaking led to a goal. That stupid ass freaking thing. And then this guy somehow manages to pull off a perfect volley. I've been trying to do that the entire game. He's done it in one try. What the hell just happened? I've just lost. Well, I haven't lost yet, but we're still gonna keep going. Obviously, we need that goal with freaking Darame. He has the beautiful agility, but a guy take a huge shot and it hits the crossbar. Of course, he freaking hits the crossbar, and in this moment, yeah, I was just in panic, and yeah, well, things just weren't going well, were they? Yeah, I thought it was over until I turned back and then I started trying my hardest for the goal. Freaking Tarame got his ankles clipped and Fred scored the cheesiest goal I've ever scored. Well, maybe one of the cheesiest goals I've ever scored. I've scored a FIFA goal. Let's just call it that. Now with 12 seconds to go, you think the game is over. Then until freaking Tarame shows his freaking 92 pace, pushes past every damn defender, shows the 99 agility, cuts inside, shows 92 shooting and scores it open. Why the hell didn't you do that sooner? Oh my god, it's 3 minutes. Wow, this guy got screwed over. Well, it's not my problem, that's EA for you. Well, we've scored with Rame, wish I played more practically, we could've had a lot more goals with him, I don't know why I tried to do bicycle kicks, as well as headers. Headers were never gonna work. But then, we scored it and we drew the game. Yeah, it's the end of the game, right? He's gonna blow the whistle now. 3, 2, 1, 1, 2, 3. Perfect game over, ladies and gentlemen. And that is it, this man is pretty fun to play with, so let's just get to the freaking summary and final review on Mr. Mohamed Rame. Okay guys, it's time for the final summary on Mr. Mohamed Derame, pros are in green and cons are in red. Well, one con really, it is links. 
I mean, being Danish really helps you can link him to Christian Eriksen and multiple other people. Being in the Danish league does hurt a little bit. So, shooting. His first pro. It's, his shooting is decent, I'd say. It's not that bad. But I would put a hunter on him to increase his finishing and everything. That's why I put a hunter here. I think you just boost up his freaking shooting and base because you're going to play him as a striker. You could put a hawk on him if you want to, you know, increase passing and all of that. But he's fine. His passing is also fine. I would have given that a pro as well. It's not bad. Price is really decent. For 30k, you're getting yourself a really good card. 87 rated, not bad. He's really good. Dribbling, you saw the dribbling. The guy is phenomenal. He was freaking pushing defenders off the ball. So, I mean, his physical has to be up there. It's really good. So all in all, I'm gonna give this guy a 10 out of 10. I can't give it a 9 out of 10 just because of the links. I mean, you can play him as a, you can play him with uh, icons or play him as a super sub, like anything like that. He's a really good card, and if you wanna get him, get him. He's really fun to play with. I'm surprised. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and do everything else, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.